When you think of the word Monopoly, you probably think of the world famous board game. But in reality, monopolies control a huge amount of a market. The proper legal definition of a monopoly in the UK is a firm that has 25% of the market share, and a pure monopoly has 100% of the market share, as in, the only seller of a product. P.S. Market share is the percentage of goods sold in a market by a certain company. Examples of monopolies would include Amazon, Google, Microsoft, and PlayStation. Due to the lack of competition, a monopoly has greater bargaining power against customers since there are few or no other choices. This allows them to have supernormal profit which is greater than average profit and they can get away with charging higher prices and produce less goods without facing much consequences from consumers. These effects are displayed in this monopoly diagram where the green area represents supernormal profit or the difference between the average revenue per unit of output and the average cost per unit of output at QM. The red area represents the deadweight welfare loss as in the loss in consumer and producer surplus that originates from a market slash government failure. There are many problems with the existence of monopolies that largely stem from lack of bargaining power of consumers as mentioned before. This leads to X inefficiency, where monopolies have less incentive to cut costs since it faces less competition. This could probably lead to productive inefficiency, where a monopoly is not producing at the lowest average cost. In addition, the high prices lead to allocative inefficiency, where the average revenue, which in this case is the price, is greater than the marginal cost. The lack of competition means monopolies don't need to invest in innovation so that products wouldn't be improved. This lack of bargaining power also extends to suppliers, so monopolies can pay lower prices for suppliers, again with little consequence. Furthermore, monopolies can sustain themselves by increasing barriers to entry against new firms by using intellectual property rights and advertising. However, despite its many drawbacks, Monopolies possess a surprising number of benefits for society. Firstly, the supernormal profit of monopolies allow them to invest heavily in research and development, which can't necessarily be done in competitive markets. This is especially important for industries like medicine and drugs, which is very risky. Economies of scale is the fall in average costs in the long run with a rise in output as a business expands like say a monopoly where they can take advantage of these lower average costs. For example, a big monopoly can buy supplies in bulk and get discounts. Hence, through these cuts in costs, monopolies can lower prices for customers. Moreover, a domestic monopoly may not really be a monopoly globally, since they have to compete with other large international firms which may force them to cut prices. Finally, it can be argued that a firm may be a monopoly because it was successful at providing consumers with what they want and were the most efficient in the market. Please note, there is a lot about monopolies that I haven't covered in this video, but these are the basics and I will expand on this in future videos. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give a like and comment as it really helps my video in the YouTube algorithm. And if you like economics and political commentary, consider subscribing. Maybe follow me on my Twitter and see you later.